I have a young friend who is a singer, the operatic type. He's tall and slender, and he makes perfect for these operatic swashbuckling roles, you know, this great, magnificent, booming voice. And I had the chance, we were talking together, and I said, Dan, from what I understand, the great opera singers, the ones that are the best in the world, the ones that are at the absolute top of the profession, the, everybody knows them, that all of them have personal teachers. And he said, oh, of course. I said, well, Dan, don't you ever learn? And he looked back at me and said, oh, Dr. Kidlaw, <laughs> there is always the danger of slipping into bad vocalic habits. And when you slip into a bad vocalic habit, it, inter it corrupts the purity of your tone. And he said, if you get into bad vocalic habits, it can even damage your vocal equipment. So you always need somebody who is very sensitive and can say, wait a minute, you need to do that over again because that's not pure. He said to me, he said, Dr. Kenlaw, do you know what the secret of great singing is? I said, heaven no. <laughs> <laughs> well, he said, it's very simple. The secret of great singing is you let the breath do it all. But you know, the interesting thing is when you get to the place where he's free and he can flow and do his work, you find that's the greatest moment that you've ever had. 